Hey there, boys and girls. Today we're going to be going back and re-clearing the Alferg trial. The reason I say re-clear was I kind of messed up on my first clear. I forgot to put a nice weapon on my on my damage units. So, we need to defeat the boss within 30 turns. Deal Ice, Wind, Earth, and Dark Damage two times or more. Evoke Rama and Titan. Uh, Lid, she's here for her breaks. She's going to be summoning Titan for us. She just needs lots of uh, defense and spirit hit points. Do... Big Heart is going to be our magic tank. Lots of hit points, lots of spirit. Uh, Dragon Lord's going to be our finisher. If you could take any unit and make it better, it would be Dragon Lord because he is your main damage unit for this. He needs 100% water resist to survive after phase one or after turn one, and he needs uh, immunity to stone. I just went ahead and put Phoenix Hat on him for that. Uh, Sora is going to be one of our two chainers. He's got Line Saber on for wind and earth. Deathbringer on for dark. Other than that, lots of uh, attack. I'm going with Aurora Fravia for my other chainer. Um, I geared her for magic because the boss feels like it has less spirit than, than defense, so I thought going the magic route would be better. Um, she does have an ice weapon on this time. We will not fail again. Uh, Queen is going to be uh, here for espers, and she's on Lakshmi for stop immunity. All she needs is 100% water resist. Uh, Iko, same thing here for Espers. She's on Rama to summon him. Um, only thing she needs other than that is Water Resist. And then we've got Seabreeze, Dark Fina, and Dark Fina here for chains. I'm just using Tornado Chainers. You want to use Magic Chainers, but whatever you want to do is fine with me. Um, just make sure they have 100% Water Resist. Like I said, Dragon Lord's going to be your main damage unit. So focus on him. All right. And again, because I cleared the boss once already, we're we're not going to get to role play, so I really apologize for that. It was an oversight on my part. All right, turn one, we're going to get Lid to use Super Analyze, Sigheart, Super Wink. That's his magic cover cooldown. A Frizzle. Then we're going Sonic Blade, and then we're going Triple Cast. Radiance. Give it a second to make this uh, Libra come up. There's Libra if you want to see it. And we're just painting the boss. And you'll see here how little damage my physical units actually do, or my chainers actually do. Mm hmm. <laughs> just made it alrighty so the counter to using physical attacks on him pretty much going to kill your melee DPS and then he's going to phase transition and he's going to do some magic he's going to do a magic AoE and a physical AoE but since we have hit points and defense and spirit on our guys they're going to survive the, um, the physical part and Seekart's going to cover the magic part All right. Now we're going to bring our tornado chainers in. We're going to take our tank out and put Queen and Ico in. The reason being, the next threshold is an AoE gravity attack, and you don't want your magic tank taking like, you know, five gravities because it'll kill him. So we're going to spread the gravities around. The other thing he's going to do is a water attack. And we have water resistance, so that's not going to be a problem. The third thing he's going to do is a stop. So we're going to cast stop resist here. Then we're going to get Kafrizzle ready. We're going Tornado. Tornado. Start chaining on that. And if you've got another Type 0 unit right here, Go ahead and sacrifice them for an Esper. I don't, so we're going to go with Ico's Perform Apps to uh, fill our Esper bar up. That's the best I could do. You should be fine. Your orb generation should be pretty good. <clears throat> There's your gravity attack. Like I said, we immuned all the water. Now we're going to bring Lid and Sigheart back in. 
The next threshold is a huge magic attack. I'm talking like big boy magic damage. So we're going to use Sexy Smile. That's going to reduce his magic damage taken by like 90%. Then we're going to summon Titan. Then we're just going to chain in the boss again. This is a really short damage threshold. It's only 10%. As you can see, Seekhart takes care of that like a champion. Up menu. We want to swap Queen and Ico back in. We're going to sacrifice Queen. We're going to summon Rama. Reload these guys. Just chain in the boss again. You don't have to kill with an Esper, you just have to summon the Espers. There we go. Much better. Like I said, focus building the Dragon Lord. He's the most important unit for how I cleared this. And as always, I'll link some Senzar's clears. He always does stuff a lot different than me, so it's good that everybody can see some variety. And if you don't already subscribe to him, please subscribe to Senzar. He's an awesome content creator. All right, we got our ice damage in that time. Again, I apologize about the role play. It completely slipped my mind. I was just thinking straight magic, and I didn't. I, anyways, I'm sorry about the not not having all the role play in there. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Toodaloo.